Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the Change It Daily Workout sponsored by Core Health and Fitness. I'm Sharon Mahalik, Master Trainer, Certified Health Coach, and Personal Trainer. And today I'm excited to spend this session with you to keep our community healthy and active during these trying times. Join us each day for the next few weeks as we connect and support each other and change it up. During this time, we will be providing you with daily workouts, options and ideas to keep you moving. But please remember, you'll, you will also have to allow for appropriate rest and recovery to complement those sessions. You ready? Let's get started. So, I am actually at a place that we uh, don't have any weight equipment. So we got really creative. We went to our space in Florida that we just bought as a rental property and closed on it about two weeks ago right before all of this happened. So we're stuck here. Not so bad, but we didn't have any weights and we're going crazy. So we're exactly in your spot that we don't have our gym, we don't have our weights, we don't have our mats, anything. So creative ideas, right? So we have, I have paint cans here. One's 10 pounds, one's five pounds. My bucket full of water is actually 20 pounds, and then I have a towel for a mat. So that's how you can make up for those objects that you don't have or the weights that you don't have. Another great idea is you can use soup cans if, you, if this much is too much weight, or you can use um, gallon jugs. I, we didn't have any. We don't use drink gallon milk. So here we go. So let's just do a little bit of warm up. It's a full strength workout today. Big inhale up and exhale down. Big inhale up and exhale down. And now we're just gonna do some little light. If you wanna go low, low impact, that's what you would do. Low impact or high, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and one and now you're going to shuffle and reach down and just a little shuffle reach down shuffle reach scoop that booty back use that energy and scoop the booty back as you bend so it's not all from your back keep the back flat and now just a little bit of rotation with that shuffle and reach shuffle reach rotate Two more. And that's it. And then just a little knee lift. Just get the blood pumping. You know we have to warm up our internal body temperature before we start working so very hard. We're gonna do legs, butt, upper body, everything today. And remember, if you don't want to use any weight at all, you would just use your own resistance of your own body weight, which is good as well. So we're gonna start out with our legs. And I'm using my big bucket, bringing my feet wide, grabbing hold of my bucket. I'm gonna to have to pull it up a tad here, which works my shoulders a bit isometrically. Take it down. And we're just gonna do eight to 12 of these and then pause. We're gonna try to get you three sets. Two more, maybe, or maybe you could go two more. Excellent, now hold it and pause. Six, five, four, three, two, one, now hold it. Hold, 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 hold. Ah! And now when we're here, just with those heels. A little bit of calf, right? So we've got some butt. We've got some leg going on. You can drop that a bit if you like. Just don't drop it onto the ground. Lifting those heels up and down. You also, if you really have a lot of energy, you can curl at the same time. That's right, lifting those heels. How about that, huh? Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
Alrighty. Now, I think I'm gonna use the same weight only because I'm used to doing a little bit more weight. It might be a little bit awkward. Bear with me. But I'm gonna do a front lunge, take it back, and then kick it. So a front lunge, take it back, and kick. Front lunge. And the good thing is, is when you're done with this workout, you can actually wash your floor because you have a bucket full of water. Oh, that's supposed to be funny. <laughs> We're on six. Maybe we can do six more, right? Make sure that front knee is not going over the toe. Three. Drop the back knee down as far as you can to the ground. Two. So you want that full lunge. And one. And that kick, why am I doing the kick? A little bit of balance, right? Let's take it to the other side. I like this. De Oops. <laughs> See? I'm not perfect. Drop down. This must be my challenging side of balance, right? Drop down. Lunge and kick. Forward lunge, knee stays behind the toes. Drop the back knee down without tapping it on the ground, so be gentle. Back. And this is number five, six, seven, Breathing pretty heavy with this bucket. Eight. <laughs> Nine. And can we get two more? Can I hear it? Yes. Of course you can. Of course you can. One more. And that's 12. Now, for a bent over row, you might want to use a little bit less weight. I may, I may not, maybe I'm going to use my unopened pink can with 10 pounds. <laughs> so, or maybe I'm going to almost use my 20 pounds. Let's use my 10. So tiny bend of the knee, nice flat back. Keep it flat, kind of scoop that little butt out, stick it out, tiny bend of the knee, and just pull straight back. Squeeze the shoulder blade back. Yay, yes. So, while we're doing this, four, three, two, let's kind of think of our heads. What else we could use to uses weights. Now my husband also came up with this ingenious idea. Absolutely. Eight, seven, six of ordering some concrete and some metal poles because obviously he lifts heavier than I do. Two more. And making some weights in a bucket. So you can go as heavy with the concrete as you like and make some weights in a bucket. Then a rear deltoid. Now a real deltoid would always call for less weight, right? So if I use five pounds in one hand and 10 in another, you just have to lift tiny bend again, nice flat back, because you want to get that rear deltoid. Because of all of our forward, forward movement and we're hunched over our phones and our computers, we need to just reach and, and work that back and rear deltoid. We're overdeveloped in the chest and back area, right? All right, we're gonna switch halfway through because one weight is heavier than the other. Does that make sense? And we're gonna go out like that. Thumbs up. Yeah. That's, on fire. That's a heavy paint can. Five, two, and one. That's our rear deltoid and our row. Now, how do we work our chest? 
Can't work our chest standing up. No, you can't. The direction of the weight isn't appropriate. So we need to just do a push-up. So we're gonna do a push-up. And then we're also working at the same time our triceps, that area that just likes to jiggle way too early in life. So let's work that. That's the first part that goes. You can either do a Y. The tricep work will be a narrow push-up. Nice flat back. Don't get that booty in the air. Core tight, tuck the belly button in towards that spinal column. Just take it down. Now remember, if you can't go up on your toes, you're just going to take it down to your knees. And push and breathe as you come up. So it's six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, good job, Sharon. Then, that's a great one, then shoulder press. And what we might wanna do is do just a single shoulder press with a 10 or a five, whatever works for you. Remember, this has to be right for you. I'm gonna take the can inside and just shoulder press straight up, just like that. You wanna have it a little bit in front of your face, but off to the side. This one isn't as comfortable, I have to say. <laughs> the can is kinda of digging, but it works. And I'm already at eight, nine, 10. Remember, you can use milk jugs, fill them with water, fill them with ice, whatever weight you need. Easy peasy, cheap, and you don't have to go out shopping. This is number five, six. How are we doing? Talk to me, I need your help. <laughs> Two more. Done legs, butt, back, chest, triceps, shoulder, yep, bicep. So if we want both our biceps at the same time, I could use my 20 pounds of water in a bucket and some more eggs. And we can just curl up. And if I'm really hot, I can dunk it on myself. You could also use this as just a little bit. This is just, I'm just like going off here a little bit, but a little bit of a kettlebell swing. Swing. <laughs> okay, I can't see. But I've always said And if you want to work more legs, come down in a squat and curl up at the same time. Come down, curl, down, and curl. Just don't release it all the way. Don't get it down to the ground. Dig those heels in. Squeeze the glute too. I love trying to work my legs because they're just, it's the first place I fall apart. But whatever works for you. Then we have a tricep kickback. So this one, if you use a 10, you can lean on that opposite leg, you can use a 5, 8, 10, 15, and just kick back. Just kick back just like this. Hold it, keep that elbow planted in. You don't move from the shoulder joint. I am at four. So let's just say we have six more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. What do you say, other side? Yes, sir. Some little critters crawling behind me. Nine, eight, seven, six, as long as it's not a snake. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, and one. Now we want to be able to go through these exercises again. Do you think you can do that? Let's work core and then we'll continue. Now think about how you're feeling. If you need to rest, go ahead and rest. 
If you need to take a break, no problem. We're probably gonna get through one more set and then we're gonna be done. So um, work at your own pace. If you feel too fatigued, it's okay. If you need to rest, drop it, drop the weight, drop it, stop the exercise and start up again. Make sure you're breathing and um, just make it fun. Do what you can, do 10 minutes, 20 minutes the next day, whatever you can do for you. This is all about you and this is all about keeping us all safe and healthy right now. Are you ready? Let's do some core. So I have this lovely mat, which is a towel, but it works, right? Don't have my mat, I didn't bring my mat. So I'm gonna just scoot it back just a little bit. And this is one of my favorite core exercises is you're just going to reach and if you can't keep the legs out you're going to bring it down to the floor but otherwise just take it up and up now i like to do both legs but that is more advanced so you need to do what you could do for you so here's just one and let's switch and, and two and to you notice how I'm heading. We're only counting if they're full. And three. And four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Go ahead and add the double leg if you want. It will be more challenging. Now remember, if you can't come all the way up, nine, nine, you just come back there. So just come in and push. Ten, ten, eleven, eleven, and I'm going to do my double leg, twelve, and twelve. Woo! Last but not least, I'm going to do into that plank, plank pose, and just hold it. So you're literally going to hold this for as long as you can. Obviously, we're not going to do that right now because we have to get moving. But you would pull the navel in towards your spinal column and just do as best as you can. You can dip it down if you like to use more oblique. You can hold it. But try to hold for as long as you can. Drop it, start up again for 60 seconds. So that's what you're going to try to do with that. And then we're going to start from, this, from the very beginning again and do the whole workout. Now you know what we're doing. So we're just going to move just a little bit quicker. Are you ready? Can I hear it? I got my bucket. I got my squats. And here we go. Squat. Remember what we put, said we could do if we want to work more biceps? I kind of like to. down how about we go down hold it and pulse it remember after I pulse what we did you what, <laughs> what did we do we lifted our heels speaking is a skill <laughs> have fun with me please this is a very challenging time for all of us none of us have been through it so in my 67 years of age I haven't seen it Hold it and squeeze all the way up. Oh my goodness. So here we go. I've never even taken a drink of water. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's put it in this hand this time. And I'm going to do a front lunge. Keep the knee back. Front lunge, knee back, drop the back. Knee, keep the knee back away from the toe. That's three. And that's four. And that's five. Did we do the kick? How about after six? You ready? So it's six. 
Boom. Five. Boom. Four. Ow! Three. This one gets your heart rate up just a little front. And one more. We got this, guys. Kick it. Switch it. Other hand. And down. Six first without the kick. Keep it nice. That's how nice I am. How my hip on my class is going. Very nice. Five. And six. Down. And it's six. Exhausted, you guys in two sets. Come on, pull back, pull back, pulse. Just pulse it. Come on, let's improve our posture, way. Right? Really strengthening those back muscles. Are you ready? Other side. Twelve. There's one thing that I really hate to do, and that's count every rep. Some people need it. I don't need it. So if you need to count it. You count it when you're working out. Remember, this is about you. So we're at, but I'd like to let you know where we're at. So we only have three more. See how fast that goes? Two, and one, and pulsing. I am working up a great sweat. And this is a workout I really need to repeat. So here we go, guys. I'm gonna move my bucket just a little further out to the side and do our real delt, same position. Up, thumbs up. Four, three, control it. Only lift up to your shoulders, two, and one. Switch the weights if you have uneven, which one paint can was never opened. <laughs> Six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Whoop, 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 whoop. And a bicep curl. Let's do our curl with our hands and switch. So six, five, four, three, Two. If you stay on the squat, it's more challenging. Switch it. So we have a lighter weight in one hand, and if you like, otherwise just grab that heavier weight during the whole time. Three, two, and one. How about chest? Chest and triceps. Let's go down. Go down, baby. And. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Keep the elbows in. 3. That's the challenge. If you can't do it, move your hands wider. We can get the triceps later. Yes? Yes. And our tricep kickback. First our shoulder press. And then our tricep kick back, and we'll be done. So shoulder press. Press 
up. started when they started yeah I've been in this industry for over 40 years and I'm pretty proud of it and Schwinn oh my god they're the best four keep the elbow in don't swing from the shoulder joint two controlled I'm swinging a little bit shame on me switch in, in 30 minutes. Or a little I could cheat, right? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. How are we doing? Do we want to finish the core? How are we doing? I think we're doing pretty well. So, here we go. Three more minutes. We're gonna finish with some core and a little bit of stretch. So don't forget your stretching at the end, folks. We are going to do those single up. Like that. Or double leg like I was doing before. Four. This actually amounts to 24, so if it's too much, don't do it. Just do what you can. Pull the navel in towards your spine as you're coming up. Blow the air out. Five, four, remember we're looking for eight to 12 reps. So you need to use heavy enough weight that if 12 is too easy, grab something heavier. Two, and we have one more. We're gonna finish with that plank a little shorter. And I'm gonna talk to you. Thank you so much for coming. You are amazing. We will all get through this. Don't let that into your spine. Don't let that lower back drop. Don't pop that butt up in the air. Hold it. We'll get through this, we'll be better for it. And in the meantime, watch all of our workouts. I'm here, so many great people. I was honored to be able to do one, and I hope to see you again soon. But do keep your head, and don't bring your neck up when you're holding this. Normally, I'm just talking to you. So your neutral spine should be held, and you can dip a little bit if you like, and then go right into a stretch back, a little puppy. Deep breathing. And a hamstring stretch. Just move back just a little bit. And just reach forward. Remember, nice slide back first so that you get the hamstrings and the inner thigh. A little bit of the groin. And then you can always roll over and bring in that lower back. But we're gonna try to just get the hamstrings first and that groin. Once you roll that back, it grabs a little bit more lower back. If you take it over to the side, just reach, flatten, walk, Reach, side bend, flatten, walk, curl the legs in, 
cross, a little bit of a hip stretch. You can cross, push, you can cross those arms and stretch out your back. Roll forward. Oh, try to push that little butt cheek on your right side into the ground as you roll over. And that's a great, great hip stretch. One of our favorites. One of our favorites. Take it to the other side. Flatten it out. Cross these legs. You guys are awesome. Once again, happy to be here. I'm Sharon Mahalish. You can follow me on Instagram, Green Fit Pure Life. And I also am an advocate for safe, clean, personal care products with beauty products. So thank you so much. You're the bomb. I love it. And peace. Be well. Love you all. Thanks.